Uh, this is a, a very sensitive uh, situation. Uh, the county has lost so much population over the last 20 years that we have not uh, kept up with the times and reduced our workforce as the shrinking uh, tax base has. Uh, population has decreased somewhere around 20,000 in the last 20 years and we are still operating with more employees than we had uh, when we had those 20,000 people. So uh, employees are your biggest uh, cost of the county. And so we have gotten to a point, it is dire straits now that we have to reduce our workforce in order for us to continue to uh, be financially sound uh, here at the county. Uh, I hate for anyone to be without a job, but we have waited to a point to where attrition will not solve our problems. That means that we can no longer kick the can down the road. That means that we have to meet today's needs immediately. Uh, if the county uh, had any type of emergency situation, we would not have the cash flow to handle that problem, uh, i.e., whether it be a tornado, whether it be a flood, the county does not have the resources to do so. It is my responsibility as the chief executive officer of the county to make sure the county is physically sound, uh, fiscal sound, and we are, uh, the only way that we can do that at this particular point is to reduce our workforce. Uh, we are looking at other ways to uh, reduce our budgets uh, in the operations. We are cleaning up uh, in those areas where the county has been wasteful in uh, some uh, avenues of, of spending uh, money. Uh, we are trying to bring technology into uh, play to where that it will also cut costs. Uh, we are doing a number of things. It's one of the things that I looked at uh, coming aboard and even before uh, uh, coming into the judge's office is that I did some research and I found out that Jefferson County was one of the uh, uh, few counties that where every elected official had uh, vehicles. Not only every elected official but their assistants uh, also had vehicles. So to reduce some of those costs I made a uh, determination that I would uh, uh, pull those uh, vehicles uh, and we reduce our vehicle inventory of about 20 vehicles which also saves us in insurance which also saves us in ma uh, maintenance and operation of, of those vehicles it it saves uh, quite a bit of money what are you asking um, the elected officials to do uh, you mentioned during the state of the county address that you're uh, looking to reduce and we mentioned this earlier about reducing personnel, but you're asking each department head to do what? I'm asking each department head to reduce their workforce, each office, by one person. But to take this a step further, I promised the elected officials that I would never ask them to do anything that I wasn't willing to do myself. So I started with my office. I reduced personnel in my office out of the county general and road department. Uh, to the sum of some over a hundred thousand dollars. So I took that first step. I also elected not to have a county vehicle to take that first step forward, lead by example. And I promised them that I would never ask them to do anything that I wasn't willing to do myself. I also promised the elected officials that I would not ask them to do anything again that I'm not willing to do myself and we're going to work as a team. I'm going to communicate with them and we're going to get this county back where it needs to be. All right, Judge, anything else you want, you want to add? This is a crucial time and we all know that, uh, you know, Jefferson County has seen some glory days, but we have seen a great decline in Jefferson County. But Again, I'm not here to spread gloom and doom because I still feel that Jefferson County will one day here in the uh, near future will uh, start the process of rebuilding to be revitalized. We have uh, so, so much opportunity coming to this region and we just need to be patient. But in order for that uh, to happen, we have to do what's necessary right now because I can't plan on those things happening tomorrow 
or the next day or next month. They may be a few years down the road. So we have to do what we have to do right now to solve our financial situation. But I do feel that one day Jefferson County will rise again to be that prominent county as it once was 20 years ago.